Hi guys, so today I am just gonna do a really quick run through on how I like to set up my files and how I like to work as far as how I set up my layers and everything. Um, it's really pretty basic entry level stuff, I guess, but it's something that I like to see how other people set up their stuff. And there's really no limit on how people can set up their files and how they work with layers and everything. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you how I go about doing it. So, uh, when I set up a new canvas, I like to have the ratio at 11 by 17. I pretty much always work at that. It's a nice, good, large size that I can go ahead and size down if I want to, but it won't be too small. And then I always make sure to have 300 for the resolution for pixels per inch. That way it's always really clear and it's, a uh, it's print quality at that point. So what I like to do is go ahead and change the background, the background color to more of this like medium light gray. I do not like to work straight off of white. It does not work for me. So I go ahead and tint the background that color just from the get go. And then I always love working with texture when I'm working digitally. It just gives it so much more life and depth and it feels a little bit more like traditional sketching to me. So. I always do that right off the bat so I can go ahead and see how it looks as I'm creating the artwork and yeah that's something that I like having the finished product have a nice texture to it so yeah I like to start from the beginning with it. So I have this file that I've developed or <laughs> gathered different textures over the years that I like to use. Um, I've gotten all of these textures from the website lostandtaken.com and I will have a link for that down in the description, but that is an amazing website. Uh, at that website, there are probably thousands of textures just like this where they're really high quality and they're free to use. So I highly recommend that place. I love it. Anyway, so I go ahead and select a texture and there we go. And I just size it to the canvas size. And I usually like to take the color away from the texture. When it has a color like this, it'll influence the colors beneath it, which sometimes I like, but usually I like to be able to completely control what colors are happening and make sure that they're actually the colors that I'm selecting instead of being influenced by this. So what I do is I just come up to image adjustments, click on hue and saturation, and then just drop the saturation all the way down. And then you're just left with a complete gray scale. And I usually set the layer mode to the texture as multiply, and then I drop it about halfway down. I, I can change that as I'm working on the piece, depending on how I like it, but this is usually where I start out. That way I can just have a jumping ground off for that. And then, yeah, I start doing the liner in between the texture layer and the background layer, and then I just add on from there. And I think I'll go ahead and show you how I have the layer set up for a final illustration and just kind of how I end up with a finished version. So this is just the last piece that I did and I've already uploaded and I'll go ahead and start from the top. So here I have two of these, I'm not really sure what you call them. They're like a alteration layers, I guess, where I can change the final product and it affects everything below it. So. I like to do the brightness and the contrast specifically where I can bump up the lightness. I tend to make my pictures very dark and usually it's a little bit darker than I actually want. So I bump that up a little bit and I usually play a little bit with the hue and the saturation just a little bit sometimes. Um, yeah, and then I go ahead and have the texture right below that. And then this is the section where I have all the little added bonus stuff, I guess, on top. Uh, I have this layer where I added some darkness up there and then I have these hatching marks around him. And this is usually where I put uh, highlights if I want to have highlights on the figure, really pronounced ones, like rim lighting and stuff. I have that up at the top usually. And then I have a folder with all of my line art work and then a folder with all of my coloring below that. And then I just have the background and I usually have all the basic background colors on the actual background layer like that, where you can see I, I just shaded down different colors and values onto the actual background layer instead of adding more on top. 
And yeah, so that is really basically how I go about setting up all of my files and how I work through it. And in the end, what a finished illustration looks like when I'm done with it, the way I have the layers set up. I try really hard to be very organized with them and try to kill the different layers that I've created that I don't need anymore. It just takes more of the stress off, I guess, of having too many layers. So I try to keep it down to a minimum. Anyways, so hopefully this video was at least a little bit entertaining, maybe a little bit informative. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all the future art videos. And until then, I will see you at my next one. Bye.